as machines get developed further and further, also the possibilities for deception via the virtual worlds and all kinds of movies and real life sound and also maybe with the help of drugs people imagine that such means become available. So one of the threats that people feel today and even also the younger people who are more used to technology comes to think of is that what if you live in a really fake world? What if some part of the world is not at all like you imagine it to be like? What if all the people could would be in virtual worlds of their own? So what would then happen? What would be the best strategy of life? And how will the world then be arranged? And this connects to the old situation where all people live in the real world in the following way. Imagine that you take a real person that is fitted by the evolution to live as a part of the society and part of the world to a virtual world where he or she lives alone without any contact with others, with only computers around. So the only way that anyone can benefit from such arrangement is that some natural function of the human gets to used, used to some work for the benefit of the ruler. So the ways of functioning which produce most effect in the real world produce most effect also in the virtual world or otherwise it's the computer deciding. And that means that you kind of have the same optimized arrangements in the virtual world. That means moral as the best option as in the real world. So moral and happy life are musts for the builders of just systems. And well, I, I hope that you will watch my video about rationally grounded moral. It's well, it should answer many of your questions. Thank you. Bye.